Hey Canucks fans, I have a question for you today. Do you cheer for Canadian teams to win the Stanley Cup? I am Canuck Clay, and this is my Canucks take on one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Tuesday, May the 17th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. I bring this question up because yesterday, it was Monday night, it was Canucks After Dark, it was Parker and me. We had a really great show, a really fun show, talking about round one, looking ahead to round two, doing our predictions. you got to check it out if, if you haven't checked it out already. And um, But a really interesting thing was happening in the chat. While Parker and I were conversing, I saw a bit of discourse, and it wasn't always friendly, so I think we got to work on that. But there's there's a bit of a debate there about cheering for Canadian teams. And I'm going to presume that most, well, I, I know from the stats, most of the people watching my videos, not all, but about 70% of you are living in Canada, whether you're Canadian residents or citizens or landed immigrants or whatever you may be. But the majority of you, not all, but the majority of you are Canadian. So let's make that presumption first. So then really my question to you is, do you, not even do you feel like you need to, but rather do you, do you cheer? Will you be cheering for a Canadian team to win the Stanley Cup? Now, of course, there's only two Canadian teams left. It started off with Edmonton, Calgary and Toronto because Vancouver, Winnipeg, Montreal and Ottawa were not in the playoffs. So already only three of the seven Canadian teams uh, made the playoffs this year. We know that Toronto lost in Game 7 to Tampa, so now we're down to two Canadian teams, Edmonton and Calgary. And they happen to be playing against each other starting tomorrow. So we know that one of those teams will at least make it to the third round, but we know that one of those teams will be eliminated. So really, whoever wins between Edmonton and Calgary will be, um, for those that you, uh, those of you that want a Canadian team to win, will be your last hope, your last chance to win. But at least they'll be uh, automatically vaulted to the third round. Kind of like last year, our, uh, yeah, when we had the bubble, um, I mean, not the, the all-Canadian division, we knew that there would be at least a Canadian team make it to the final four by virtue of being one division. And then Montreal ended up going to the final, as we know, before losing to Tampa Bay. So, the question is, do you, will you be cheering for Edmonton or Calgary once this series is done? Will you be cheering for the winner to knock off either Colorado or St. Louis and then, and then win the Stanley Cup? Now, I bring this up. Uh, I'll give you my opinion. I, I bring this up because I think we know that no Canadian team has won the Stanley Cup in almost 30 years now. I think 1994 was, was, the, was the last time. So, 1994 is a lot of time. There's, there's been chances. Calgary's been in the final. They lost against Tampa Bay. We've obviously been in the final, and we lost against Boston. Montreal was in the final last year. So, there's, there's been opportunities at least, at least three times off the top of my head in the past 30 years, which isn't a lot, actually. That's only one every 10 years, but maybe there's a couple more that I'm forgetting. But, obviously, I know those three. And I would say, back in 2011, that... I, I'm not sure that the rest of Canada was cheering for Vancouver. Uh, I'm not sure about that uh, because maybe because Vancouver wasn't the most loved team with guys like Burroughs and Kessler on the team. I know that Boston, as much as we hate them here, they have a big fan base back east, especially in the Maritimes. So maybe there's a little bit of that as well. Um, maybe because we were the favorites for, and so Boston was the underdog. Whatever the reason, it seemed like, uh, it didn't seem like Canada was behind the, the Vancouver Canucks back in 2011. And that's not the reason why I personally don't care for a Canadian team to win. I just want my favorite teams to win. My favorite teams you guys know are Vancouver and then a big gap and then it goes Winnipeg, who aren't in, and then call, uh, Tampa and Colorado, who could very well meet in the final. But I'm not gonna cheer for Edmonton or Calgary to win uh, the third round just because they're from Canada. Now, I think Quite frankly, if anyone who thinks like that, I don't think you can call them unpatriotic or unloyal to their country because um, what are we talking about here? Yes, we're, we're talking about where the city is based in, i.e. Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, Winnipeg. But we know that Canadian players are spread out throughout the entire league. And we know that whatever the stat is, 50 to 60% of the NHL is made up of Canadian players, but that's obviously not just on Canadian teams. That's spread out through all 32 teams. I, and I remember looking at the stat. I think St. Louis has a lot of Canadians. I'm sure Tampa Bay has a lot of Canadians on, on the on their team as well. So 
I don't think that by not cheering for Canadian team, it makes you less patriotic, less proud of your country, less proud to be Canadian. Of course, I, you are proud to be Canadian. But to me, that doesn't mean that you have to cheer from a, for a team that's based in a Canadian city. Cheer for who you want to cheer for. And don't worry about if that team's from the States, if that team's from Canada. I can't pick any other countries right now because right now in the NHL, there's only, you know, there's only 32 teams and they're all from North America. However, once we get to Olympics, once we get to World Championships, then that's a little different. Then it's reverse. It's you cheer, well, at least I cheer for Team Canada no matter what. And then as a secondary thing, I cheer for Canucks players that are playing on the, their respective countries. And of course, the, the best will be if there's a Canucks player on a Canadian team, but that rarely, really happens. All of our best players are from Sweden or from the States, as you guys know. But that's another, that's another issue. So my question to you simply is, who are you going to cheer? Will you be cheering for a Canadian team? So obviously it's Edmonton or Calgary. Will you be cheering for a Canadian team though to advance to the Stanley Cup Finals and to win the Stanley Cup? Again, that's either going to be Edmonton or Calgary. Or for you, does it not really matter where the team, what city the team and what country the team is located in? And then if you want to add to that, not only will you be uh, cheering for a Canadian team, uh, tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why that you feel that you need to cheer for a Canadian team. If it's a different answer, then, oh, I just like the team. And similarly, if you don't cheer for a Canadian team, tell me why. Uh, is it because, same thing, you cheer for the team and the players, no matter what city? Or do you actually go double down on it and say, I, I am almost bitter or I almost resent, uh, resent's too strong of a word, but I almost feel like there's this expectation that we're supposed to cheer for a Canadian team to bring home the cup for the first time in 30 years. And that makes me even want to cheer for a team from Canada even less. So I'm, I'm leaving it to you loyal viewers and subscribers of the channel just talk to me talk to me in the chat because it was really interesting i couldn't comment i couldn't reply to all the chat yesterday while uh, parker and i were doing canucks after dark but i definitely saw some pretty heated uh some pretty heated discussion in the in the live chat so let me know will you be cheering for amateur calgary to advance past the third round and to win the stanley cup and do you believe in this notion that some people believe in and that we should cheer for a Canadian team because we live in Canada. And if you don't live in Canada, just change it to states or whatever country you're watching from. I guess it only works for the states in the NHL, but you know what I mean. All right, friends, shout out to my subscribers. Uh, firstly, my, my uh, sponsors, Perform and Transform, Personal Training and Weight Loss. Sign up now for a free seven-day trial. Use the link in my video descriptions and Advanced City Experts Real Estate Group. Contact Jason Lim and his team for all of your real estate needs. Shout out to legendary Lucas Gates, Legendary Just Incredible, Legendary Andrew Chang, and Hall of Fame members Jens95, Sim Alexander, Chris Seifert, Adam Brewfield, Shannon Hollingworth, HSM Fangirl Gaming, Smooth Groove, and Carol Bovenlander. Thank you for your support as always, and thanks to the support of all members of all levels. You're listed in my video descriptions. If you, want to become, if you want to become a member of the CCC crew, press the join button underneath this or in my videos on the memberships tab on my YouTube channel. Quick softball update. I can do softball updates on Tuesday because I play softball on Monday, just like I do bowling updates on Wednesday because I do bowling update uh, bowl on Tuesday. We lost 19 to 12. It was our first loss of the the season. I played uh, third, second, and center field. Played pretty well on defense, but it was on offense where I I, I did uh, really well. I went four for four. I went three doubles and a triple, and I um, I got into home all four times. So um, yeah, four runs scored, four for four. Good on offense, decent on defense, um, and overall, um, our team played pretty well against the strongest team in our division, so I was happy with how we did. Okay, now, subscribe if you like to, like this video if you like to, leave a tip, a super thanks if you like to, become a member upgraded if you like to, leave a comment down below if you like to about this whole uh, cheering for a national uh, a Canadian team thing. And if you made it this far, nine minutes in the video, of course, we're talking about national teams, teams from Canada, very simple just type in O Canada O Canada in the comments and then I know you made it to the end of this video stay safe stay healthy take care of yourselves and take care of each other have a great day God bless and go Canucks go